Hey, I'm Jeff with WYSIWYGCOM USA. Today I want to talk a little bit about the MTP40. We're going to dive in and talk about the menus and some of the options and what's available inside of the MTP40. We can start by pressing the two buttons and flipping this front panel open. And you can turn the unit on. It'll display some info, including the serial number, and then what antenna it wants you to be using. Since the WYSICOM products are all wide band, for example, band 7 is 470 through 663, there's a different antenna required for certain sections of the spectrum. So let's start by pressing select to wake the device up. There's a couple of quick menus here on the front of the panel. There's channel, which will take you to the menus to select channel and group. This is part of our WDF, which is a combination of 40 groups of 60 channels that starts with a lot of pre-programmed frequencies or can be manually modified to fit your needs. You can also press gain to quickly jump to the audio menu. Now these are a couple features that are just offered to make it quick and easy to use your WYSICOM. Now, when you press the unit to wake it up, it's gonna take you to this overview menu. On the overview menu, it tells you your channeling group that you're in, as well as the frequency you're on currently, your audio level, your high pass filter, your RF output power, and your battery level. It's a lot of info for one screen, so we can dive through and kind of get into the inner bits of each of these. The first thing we get to is our preset menu. The MTP40 and all of our transmitters that are plugins come with a lot of preset options. Now these are just building blocks to give you a good starting point. For example, this is set to the Sangin Cos 11 setting with an ER, ENR noise compander. We'll dive into what that ENR means in a little bit. But there's also offered some presets for the DPA mics and a few others. So once you get to that, you can just press it and select it and it will set your audio settings and a few others that we'll dive through as we get into this. You can also modify it and then press save using save to. Next is our frequency and tuning menu. Here you can also select your channel and group and that corresponds to the WDF chart we mentioned previously or manually enter a frequency to use. Our next is our audio menu. Same as pressing gain, you can select your audio gain and take it up or down depending on your situation. Sometimes you may need to go up or down if it's someone shouting or whispering or just depending on the environment you're in. Next we have phase and our high pass filter. You can select the high pass filter by pressing the jog wheel in and go all the way from flat up to 400 hertz high pass cut or high pass filter. Next is our audio menu again. This is noise reduction. Here's where we have ENR and ENC. ENR is a noise and voice optimized noise reduction compander. This is great for just a lapel mic. For example, right now I'm using an ENR compander on my transmitter and on the receiver. This is great for all voice applications. The other available is ENC, which is a more full audio spectrum designed for music or just a full audio console send to your bag, for example. Next, you can turn your limiter on and off. Now we get into our RF power menu. On the band seven units, we have what's our called our linear feature. Now what this does is a phase canceling technology that cancels out the intermod carriers of your transmitter. This also doubles the consumption and you can expect about six hours of life on the L20 setting. These transmitters also offer 20 milliwatts, 50 milliwatts, and 100 milliwatts. You can set that by selecting, changing the jog wheel to the feature setting you want, and pressing again. When you change it, the light will go off and it will stop transmitting for a moment and then come back on. You can also select the battery chemistry you're using. The WYSICOM devices are compatible with alkaline, lithium, and nickel metal hydride. You can then select your LED light brightness and what mode, whether it's modulation peak, or in a push to talk function. You can also select your mode, whether it's two wires with bias, two wires, or three wire, and that's usually dictated by the preset that you're in. Uh, the MTP40 is also compatible with some external accessories to do push to talk. Finally, you get to the name of the unit, and then some more info, including the firmware and the serial number, and send the hardware revision of that transmitter. Then we're back to our IRDA menu, which we've talked about in another video, the MPR52 video and some others that you use to sync to your receiver. 
as well as a lock feature to lock your transmitter from any mistakes being pressed. And that is all there is to do with the MTP40. Thanks so much for watching. If there's anything else we can talk about or any questions we can answer, let us know. Support at wizzycomusa.com.